Hello guys and welcome back in this new video. Today I'm going to tell you if this strategy is 100% uh, profitable. The strategy is called the Stochastic RSI and it is from TradeLine. But before we start, I remember you that if you want to know more about my software, you want to go test your strategy or you want more info about it, write me an email that I will leave in the description. I will backtest this strategy on these stock symbols on the 5 minute interval time frame. So, let's not waste any time and uh, let's see some successful trade that my software took. So, let's start with these two long trades. The strategy is pretty simple. In order to take a long position, you have to check for basically three, three things. First one is that the EMA 50 is above the EMA 100. So, these are the settings of this indicator, only these two. And the other is that you can see a bullish cross in the stochastic, so here. And the other condition is the data must be above EMA50 here, obviously, in order to open a long position. The stop loss will be set to the EMA50 and the candle before it was uh, opening the position. And you will exit your position when you will reach the last swing gag. So in this case it was this one and as you can see this strategy, this uh, trade was successful. Let's see this one, here it's about, uh, sorry it's not correct, it was closed here. As you can see the last swing guy is here, we have EMA50 above EMA100 and as you can see stochastic RSI there is a cross, a bullish cross. You will open a, a position here and you will close it here after you, you have hit the, the last swing high. Let's see a short trade. So in this case it was here. As you can see, for a short trade you have to check that the EMA50 is below EMA100. The data is below EMA50. There is a bearish cross in the stochastic RSI above the level 80. And the bullish must be below 20. And if you have checked it, you can open a short position, setting your take profit to the last swing low and your stop loss to the EMA 50. So here basically. And as you can see, this trade was a success. It seems uh, quite a good trading strategy. Maybe it has a 100% win rate. Do you, do you think? So let's see. As you can see, it doesn't have... Uh, 100% uh, uh, as a average success rate. As you can see, it almost break even. As you can see, you would have lost uh, some money, not too much, but with commissions, uh, disastrous result. As you can see, it's not good. And then the other thing we can see is that it's not statistically profitable. We have a nice number of trades. And yeah, that's it's basically what we can see right now. But um, it seems not to be so good. But uh, is, uh, in the, every other videos, I will try to improve it with statistical analysis. So I, I have already downloaded all the trades that my software took. And um, the first thing I noticed is that it performs slightly better in buy rather than sell. So maybe it's more a bullish strategy rather than a bearish strategy. Let's see. Today I tried uh, also to improve the strategy with the DX14 as I did in the last video. Today I did uh, the same because I found some pattern. And uh, what I discovered, I discovered that if you have checked in the last three, four, like uh, three, six candles for ADX 14 to be above the 25, it uh, would have, um, have an average success rate of 51.2%, uh, so pretty good, but the same thing was not noticed in SAL. So let's try to add this criteria to our code and let's see if we, we have really improved it or not. So I have already added the conditions and it is this one, and I checked for the X14 to be above 25 in the last 6 candles here is the code of the strategy, if you are curious about it, I will show you it and, but now it's time to run again the strategy 
let's see how it performs uh, over the train dataset again so let's run again the strategy and let's see the result okay as you can see better result than before we have an average success rate of 51 percent that's it's not so good because it's almost break even and uh, as you can clearly see with commissions again not so good result as you can see you would have lost all your money bad result really bad but uh, that's it it happens sometimes the, uh, the search we found on youtube uh, from a youtube video for youtube uh, youtubers are not so good in this case it happens and that's it it is not one of uh, it's not the holy grail of uh, all trading strategies but for the purpose of the video let's run again the strategy on the train on the test data set and let's see how it performs so let's go here and let's run again the strategy so let's run again okay as you can see on the test data set it doesn't perform very well you would have lost some money with uh, without the commissions with commissions again disastrous result but the average success rate it's in the confidence interval we have calculated before so we have not overfit a bit but in conclusion i would say that this strategy it's not so good and definitely it's not one it's not a 100 average success rate strategy so uh sorry he said to be 100 percent profitable so not 100 percent as average success rate but uh, what I want to say that uh, is uh, this one this strategy it's really good but basically it's not so in conclusion <laughs> as you can clearly see the number talk as as you can see it's not profitable so if you enjoyed this content I remind you to leave a like leave a comment subscribe and see you in the next video bye